cumin, also known as curcumin, is better known as the Indian spice that is contained in curries. But it has received a lot of airtime over the last couple of years and quickly risen to become one of the most valuable new nutritional supplements on the market. And this is due to all the research which continues to churn out lots of data showing that cumin has tremendous health promoting abilities. And I want to read something from a publication that uh, when I first read it, it totally blew my mind and, and then I want to comment it, on it a little bit. At this writing, Medline contains 193 articles on turmeric and curcuminoids. Of interest are 16 articles on these compounds as antioxidants, 34 reports on their role against cancer, 23 on their mechanism if in reducing inflammation, five scientific articles on their potential to reduce heart disease, and three studies on slowing the progression of HIV infection to clinical AIDS. Now, I don't know of anything else on the market that is covering that much ground. That, that's just amazing to me, that, that curcumin could affect so many different properties in the body. I mean, that's something that should be like on the cover of Time and on your evening news. There should be there should be like a public announcement on television telling you about the benefits of curcumin. Turmeric, a spice that can be found in many curries, is showing promise in the prevention of diabetes. Researchers have found that mice that were fed turmeric were less susceptible to developing type 2 diabetes and also showed reduced inflammation in fat tissue and liver compared to untreated mice. Turmeric is also being studied as a potential treatment for pancreatic cancer, colorectal cancer and Alzheimer's. Every lady out there would be interested to know about breast cancer. Take one million women in America, 660 out of a million will get breast cancer and 160 will not survive. But in India, only 79 out of a million get it. And there's 41 deaths compared to 160. And then when you look at prostate cancer, the statistics for men are, are about as dramatic. There are 30 pathways to cancer, inflammatory pathways. He says turmeric is able to stop and inhibit all 30 pathways. All of them. I said, how do they, how does it do it? He said, well, primarily, turmeric shuts off cancer switches. It shuts down nuclear factor kappa B and STAT3. Those are the two main sources of, of inflammation that lead to cancer. We live in a culture of inflammation. You know, we have uh, arthritis and bursitis and colitis and tendonitis. Itis means inflammation. So these are all inflammatory conditions. So we could probably talk a little bit about the root cause of some of those inflammatory problems. And it probably comes down to diet and lifestyle, um, lack of proper foods, and especially eating uh, inflammatory foods. And, and also lack of exercise. But as far as something that could really be a nice supplement to um, talking about the proper diet and exercise um, for an anti-inflammatory protocol, it would definitely be uh, curcumin.